Hey guys, it's Smashley. Welcome back to my channel, or welcome if it's your first time. And if it's your first time, why don't you go ahead and hit that subscribe button. So as some of you may or may not know, I am pregnant. I'm currently sitting at around 34, 35 weeks, and I totally failed to schedule a professional maternity shoot. We've just had so much going on. And then my darling husband came up with the idea and was like, dude, why don't we just do a DIY maternity shoot at home? Genius. Um, so we came up with an idea or a few, but for today's video, we're gonna be doing a, an at-home milk bath maternity shoot and I'm so excited to get started. So the first thing we're gonna do is to clean and clear out our bathtub and make sure that we have a blank canvas. We ended up going to Michael's to get some fake flowers and some fake garland. Then we went to our local grocery store to get some roses. I had a few candles I wanted to use for the photo shoot, so I placed those first. I figured in my mind, you know, I can use that to help the garland stay in place as I'm taping it around the bathtub. So I ended up using some clear scotch tape. The garland itself wasn't really heavy. Um, there was no wire or anything in this, so it was pretty light. So the tape was strong enough to hold it in place. So the flowers we ended up buying at Michael's was pinkish and a peachish color. Because the flowers weren't part of the garland, in order to make it look like it was, I weaved them in and out so it had like a nice look to it. I did this process throughout the whole garland and I think it came out pretty good honestly. Once your flowers are all set and well placed, you can go ahead and add a little extra stuff like I did. I ended up adding more candles. I think it'll give a nice vibe. Once everything is finalized and everything looks great, we can now go ahead and fill up the tub with some nice warm water. Now that the bathtub has a little bit of water in it, we can go ahead and start pouring in the milk. Figured maybe that would help it mix as I'm pouring. I did end up using two gallons of milk as well. As you're waiting for the tub to fill up, you can go ahead and start to peel some of your roses. I ended up peeling about four, which I think was more than enough, but you can go ahead and peel as much as you feel like you need to. For some reason, I felt like the petals weren't enough, so I decided to use the leaves from the stem as well. So this flower that we bought from Michaels had a plastic center. Because of the plastic center, it was able to float, so we decided to use a few of those. Now it's time for the main event. The pictures came out beautiful, but I wanted to take it a step further and edit it a little bit. So we're gonna head over to Etsy. So the reason why we're on Etsy right now is because we're going to buy some presets. If you don't know what presets are, it's pretty much filters that you have on Instagram, but you're able to edit it a little bit more. These presets we're going to be using are gonna be for Lightroom desktop. There's so many presets you can pick from. There's all different types, moods, vibes, any type you want. But essentially it's really what you want it to look like in the end. One of the great things about presets is that it can save you so much time. So if you already have an aesthetic and you can buy the preset, you can just apply that to all your pictures and boom, be done. So once you pick out a preset that you like, you can go ahead and buy it. And then once you buy it, it sends you an email and it tells you how to download it. Make sure once you download it to unzip the file. Now that we unzipped our files, we can go ahead and upload the photos to Lightroom. If you haven't already picked out the photos that you want to edit, you can go ahead and do that now. Now it's time to show you how to upload your preset. So randomly pick a picture. We're gonna head over to the right side and press on the edit icon. As you can see, there's a preset button. You can go ahead and click on that. Now slide over to the three little dots and that should be able to give you the option to import presets. Go ahead and pick your unzipped folder or files and then import. Another great thing about presets is that they're not permanent. So if you don't like the preset exactly how it is, you can go ahead and change it. I ended up changing some of the settings on the presets because I didn't like how bright some of them were, but I think it came out great at the end of it and I love it so much. Here is the before and after preset. Over on the left is what we took originally, which I thought was already pretty good, but we wanted a more of a like, vintage vibe to it. So the preset did about exactly what we wanted it to do. So another thing we didn't plan was exactly how we were gonna do the outro. So here it is, mostly because I don't wanna get out of this bath. As you guys saw, this video was super short, super quick, totally something you guys can do at home. 
You can do faux flowers, real flowers, a mix of both. But I totally encourage you guys to do this at home, especially if you guys are on the beautiful pregnancy journey. The photos came out amazing and I'm so happy to have them. As always, make sure you like this video, subscribe if you haven't already, and I will catch you guys in the next one.